USA. 2016 is. District of Columbia. Deshauna Barber taking the title after her powerful interview answer on women in combat. Listen. We are just as tough as men. As a commander, as a commander of my unit, I'm powerful. I am dedicated. And it is important that we recognize that gender does not limit us in the United States. Aren't. Joining us right now loud, uh, live here on the loud streets of New York City, Army Logistics Commander and Miss USA 2016, Deshauna Barber. Hi, She's been everyone. deployed to 6th Avenue. Good morning. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. So excited Thank for you. you. Great job. Oh. What did it feel like when you were on stage and they read your name? Mm -hmm. It's still so surreal to me. Every time I put on my snatch and crown, I, I get nervous and I, I feel anxiety. I'm like, I can't even believe this is a, my real life now. So in that moment, I was very unsure. I just kept saying to myself, no matter what happens, you know, I'm so humbled to have made it this far. So that was kind of what was running through my head in case they did call Miss Hawaii, Chelsea, who's a lovely, lovely woman. I mean, it was so amazing to stand up there with her. I mean, her head, a uh, calm conversation to try and keep our nerves down sure. before they <laughs> yeah. started announcing everything. So it was awesome. What was the, your favorite part of the pageant? You know, there are many different elements, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the well, questions. I, <laughs> I worked so hard on my body. I mean, that's probably a pretty good So focus. swimsuit. Swimsuit, absolutely. So a, a lot of the times when I'm hitting the stage, I'm pumping myself up, feeling that confidence, and I was just ready to rock it. I worked so hard to make sure that I look as physically fit as possible, so I was really ready to show Well, congratulations. All. Mission accomplished on Thank that. Thank you. Can you give us some pointers? Because I need to work on my body. What do we need to do? I can definitely let you all know some really great things. Most of it's military yeah. stuff, you know, sit-ups, push-ups, running. Speaking of. Yeah. Right. <laughs> because, you know, your, your uh, answer to the question about women in combat, mm -hmm. you know, we ran a great big chunk of it the next day mm -hmm. after you won because, you know, your answer was amazing, but then again, you look in your personal history, you come from a military family. I do, I do. My father, mother, sister, brother, all Army. Uh, they're on the enlisted side. I'm the only officer, and they never let me forget that. But, um, <laughs> so do they, wait, do, does your family salute you? Well, my dad, get, my dad did give me my first salute, but my other siblings, they refused. <laughs> they definitely refused. Um, and actually, my mother and father actually met in the Army in, a, in Georgia, so That's she great. was getting out of a Humvee. And he looked at her and said, that's going to be my wife. Oh, yeah. That is a meat cute. Yeah. yeah, I was watching. Yeah, I was watching you in the pageant. And my husband and I just were so proud of you because of what you represent for America. And you were our pick right from the start when they put the pictures up on the screen of your family. What does it mean to you? What does the military mean and this great country mean to you? It just means freedom. It means patriotism. It, I, I, I consider serving the military as somewhat of a family tradition. Growing up, that was something that we always made sure was something that we thought of, something that we were humbled to know that we live in a country with so many freedoms, and we knew that we wanted to fight for that sure. and continue to maintain that in our family. So it's it's been amazing to say that I wear this uniform and now I'm wearing the sash. So it's like an almost an ambassador on both sides, you know? It's a different, it's a shinier uniform yeah, that you're wearing. Yeah, it's a shinier one. In ways, it's a little bit more comfortable, but a little bit less comfortable, yeah. so, you, you know. Do you know what I love about you winning, though? A lot of people, um, you know, the pageant world has been under attack for so many years, yeah. or at least recently, but you're not just a pretty face. You really represent this country. You're in the military. It doesn't get better than that. Thank you so much, and I think that that's the main thing I wanted to, to break down, and that's the stereotypes on the military side and on the pageant side because I've really competed against the most beautiful, educated, intelligent women in this country. And I don't think we get enough credit in the pageant world. We have our stereotypes and I'm glad that I can be here to break it. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank it's a real you. pleasure to meet you. You, you truly so are much. Miss USA. Thank, Thank you. you for being here with Thank us today.